Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're going to be doing a little more training with the G1000. But more specifically, we're going to be doing an ILS landing. So if you think that sounds interesting, then I think you should stay tuned right here on 2020 Flight Simmers. So welcome back to the cockpit, everyone, of the beautiful Diamond DA-62. And we are using the Diamond Performance mod. Links will be down below in the description. And if you are new to the channel, I'd love to welcome you. Don't forget to go down below and hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell. And if this video does help you out today, smash on that thumbs up button is highly appreciated. Now in today's video, we're gonna keep this pretty short and simple and I'm going to get everything ready to prepare us for the ILS approach and get us up in the air. By the way, we are in Hawaii today, if anybody wanted to know. And uh, I will come back to you once we get up there so I can show you how to perform that approach. Now, if you're unsure of how to input the flight plan and set up your approach in the G1000, we've done a video on that already, and I will post that up here in the top right corner. So go ahead and click on that first if you're unsure how to do that, and then come back to the video. But for now, I will meet everybody back up in the sky. Okay, so we are now at about 5,000 feet and uh, we are making our way to our first waypoint to start our ILS approach. But before we get there, I wanted to go over a couple things on the GPS unit so you kind of understand what we're taking a look at. Now we're gonna be using the VNAV here to kind of get us down to that final approach fix and that's where we're gonna pick up the glide slope. Speaking of glide slope, if you've never flown an ILS before, one of the things you're going to notice here, right to the left-hand side of the altitude tape here, is you're going to then see a glide slope populate up with a couple dots down the bottom and a couple dots at the top. You're next going to see a little green icon that's going to float its way down once we start to intercept that glide slope. So I just kind of want to give you a heads up of what you can expect to see because it kind of goes pretty quick once we get there. Now the other thing that you're going to see here is, is we are in GPS mode. So to lock on to a glide slope and localizer frequency, you must be in nav one or nav two mode, depending on which radio over here you've got your frequency put in. Now for us, we already input that frequency in nav one, and I always do that before I start the flight. I don't like to rely on the GPS to do it automatically for me. If the GPS does not automatically turn into localizer mode, you will manually have to turn on nav one mode. To do that, all you need to do is tap on the CDI button right here, and that will put you in nav one mode. I'm gonna show you real quick on how we do that. So I'm just gonna set our heading, and I'm gonna put us into heading mode real quick. So next, if I come down here and tap on the CDI button, you can see there that we have now put in localizer one, localizer two, and back to GPS mode. So now that I've showed you that, I'm just gonna tap on the nav button here so that uh, the GPS follows the nav course here and not my heading. At the top here, you can already see that our first flight restriction is at 4,500 feet. Now for VNAV, I always like to just set my altitude for the lowest flight restriction of the group. So here that's gonna be 1500 feet. So that's really what I wanna do. You can see we're gonna be at top of descent now in about a minute and a half. So we gotta hurry up a little bit. So I'm just gonna take my altitude and put it all the way down to well, not there, 1,500 feet. Now, that's going to allow the VNAV to take us down to 1,500 feet, and we won't have to really worry about stopping at all those different flight restrictions because it will automatically stop for us. Now, you can already see here that our VNAV glide slope has populated here, and the ILS glide slope is going to be very, very similar, only you're not going to have a magenta arrow here. It's going to be a green diamond. So let's go ahead and bring back the throttle a bit so we don't overspeed once we start our descent. Speaking of descent, we are just about at our top of descent uh, at about 30 seconds. Now all this is going to go pretty quick, so if you guys have any questions, please post those down below in the comments section and I will get back to you ASAP. 
Hey, and if you are enjoying the content you're watching today, a sub to the channel would be heading in the right direction. Okay, so to activate the VNAV, we do need to come over here and hit the VNAV button. Once you do that, you're gonna see VPath show up here. Now we did miss it, and hey, that's okay. So to recapture it, all we need to do is to enter vertical speed mode and then turn the vertical speed down until we capture the glide slope. And it will automatically capture that. So if you look right at the top here, it's in white right now, but as soon as the autopilot captures that glide slope, it will then turn green. And there you go. So now the glide path is captured for the VNAV, but that does not mean the localizer is captured. So don't confuse that. So now all we're going to do is allow the plane to take us all the way in. And you can see our next flight restriction is at 3,000 feet. So we just need to bring back that throttle. And the VNAV will take us all the way down to capture the ILS. Now remember, if by the time you get to that final approach fix and the GPS has not switched over to localizer mode yet, you need to make sure that you switch that CDI into localizer one. So let's see what happens here on our GPS unit. And also keep in mind that when it does switch into nav one, you're gonna see the glide slope here change. So take notice of that as well. So it looks like we are gonna be at our bottom of descent at 3000 feet in about 30 seconds. And then our final approach fix at Egypt is at 1500 feet. And we're trying to get the speed down so that we can deploy our first notch of flaps. Now on the diamond, we can deploy that first notch at 136 knots and we are there. So let's go ahead and put down that first stage of flaps right now. Now when you do that, you have to monitor that speed because it's gonna to wanna to drop on you. All right, now look right here. The GPS had just switched over into CDI mode and the glide slope has now changed to a little green diamond. So now what we need to do is we need to activate the approach. So we need to come over here and hit the approach button. If you do not hit that approach button, when the localizer one populates here, it will not capture the glide slope. When you do hit that approach button, or you can see up here in the autopilot information, that GS is now highlighted in green. Now, if you hit that approach button before that little green marker comes down level with your altitude here, it will most likely be highlighted in white. That tells you that it's activated, but not yet captured. Once it captures that glide slope, it will always populate in green for you. Now all we need to do is pretty much ride this all the way down, making sure you keep an eye on your speed. As you can see, we're just a little bit fast. Now's about the time that we can throw down some landing gear. Now this video is not a procedural video, so please keep that in mind. I am simply showing you the basics of an ILS approach using the G1000 NXI mod. And if you guys have never used the G1000 NXI mod, I highly suggest you head on over to the marketplace right here in Microsoft Flight Simulator. You don't even have to go anywhere and download it right now so you can get out here and try it for yourself. Okay, so right about now is the time when I'm going to disconnect autopilot and you can see that on the autopilot menu. And we're going to put down our last stage of flaps. And that is how you do it, folks. So I want to thank everybody for joining us today. If you haven't done so already, go down below and hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell. If this video did help you out today, smash on that thumbs up button. It really helps us out. And to all my flight simmer friends around the world,
the blue side up. We will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.